All right, I'm, I'm going to just talk a little bit about grinding valves. This is kind of an awkward angle, but I couldn't come up with a good angle to show the machine and operate at the same time, so I've got my sky camera on here. Um, this is a quick way valve grinder, fairly new, I only bought it a year or so ago. Um, in my opinion, the best one out there. As a matter of fact, it's the only one out there. It's the only domestic manufacturer now. Um, now, I like to grind brand new valves. Uh, even though they're new, it doesn't necessarily mean they're straight. So I like to just just give them a, give them a kiss and let's see if I can do this. Normally I would stand where that camera is, so I'm kind of working around it. Um, but it's an air chuck, the valve just pops in as a positive stop. And I've set the depth of the grinder here already. But I guess you can, if you can hear the valve when it touches the stone, we can see how, how straight it was. Well, that cleaned up in, a, in about a half a thou. You can hear a little bit of run out there, but that's not unusual. So this valve cleaned up in less than a thousandths in feed, so it was quite straight. And I don't suspect the rest of them are, are as good as that, no doubt. Uh, these are the valves that Ma sent us. So, but that's just a quick overview of a valve grinder. Now they, it's a, it does, it's a kind of machine that that does wear out. Here's a better picture of it. And they need to be replaced. I mean, every, in my opinion, or replaced or rebuilt at least every five years. A lot of shops will go, you know, have a valve grinder 30, 40 years old, and, and you know, it's just grinding valves out around. This is my, uh, this is the one I, I still have this one. This is a KLE model. Um, still a great grinder. I bought a new about mm, 15 years ago and does a great job, and I always like to have spare equipment, so I kept it. But anyway, we'll be talking more about uh, all the things needed for a correct valve job uh, later this week.